Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to show you a new little trick I've learned quite recently, um, which no doubt has been around for ages, but for some reason I didn't know anything about it. Um, and it's saving me a huge amount of time. Um, usually when I'm working on drawings, I um, set up my plot sheets, and if I just want to check them out and check how they're looking, I PDF them. Um, in order to do this, I'd usually type in the plot command and go through the motions, and then I'm on a Mac, so I would go... Um, save as PDF. Obviously when you've got loads of plot sheets set up this can take a huge amount of time um, but I've now discovered the publish command so I'll just show you how this works. You can, you can, the best way to do this is to have your layout sheets or plot sheets set up um, and then it just works like a dream. So if you type in publish and press enter as you can see you get this little batch publishing uh, box come up. Now it's already set to publish to PDF, but you could set it to publish to printer, but we're not going to cover that in this one. Um, so we'll leave it at PDF. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add Open Drawings. So I'm using these drawings here, which um, I should mention I've downloaded from bibliocad.com. Um, a really great site for loads of CAD blocks and all sorts of uh, useful CAD stuff. So be sure to check them out. That's bibliocad.com. Um, so as you can see here, it's brought up all the layout sheets that I've got in this drawing, along with it's um, also asking me if I want to PDF the model itself, like the model space. Well, I don't want to PDF the model space, so I'm going to click remove. So now we have um, the four plot sheets that I have set up. So we can see here it's a bit more information about these plot sheets, so you can see the size of it, it's um, an A1 size and it's going to be sending to PDF. Now, we need to figure out where we're actually going to be sending these PDF drawings, where they're going to be saved. So if I click on the advanced options here, um, I've already got this set up, so um, what you can do is browse for where you want it to be uh, published, which is set up here, so I'm going to select that. Um, you can also ask for the PDFs to be open to be opened up when you've completed them, but I'm not going to do that in this instance. Um, and you can ask it to create one single PDF, so it's like a book of all your drawings, which is brilliant. Um, or you can create individual drawings. Um, you can also put a plot stamp on there, which could be useful. Um, so I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, as you can see, I've got my four layout sheets, and if perhaps you didn't want to add all of them, you could remove easily remove by just clicking that minus button, but I'm going to leave it with those four and I'm just going to click publish now. So as you can see, it starts working on that. Okay, so um, that's been completed. So if I just open up my finder window um, and I will go to my published drawings and as you can see, they've all been PDF'd. Um, as I've set them up on the layout sheets, nice and easy and took you know, like two minutes as opposed to going through and plotting each individual one. So it's a really nifty little trick um, for just quickly publishing to PDF. You can then print them out from there or if you just wanted to view them as, as PDFs to check that your um, plot, plot styles are working correctly and the colours are printing out correctly and, and line weights and things like that. Um, so all you have to do just to run through quickly again is publish, enter, and then you can either add open drawings or click the plus minus, um, depending on what you want to do. But in this in this instance, I would just always click add open drawings, remove the model um, if you don't want that in there, and there you have all your plot sheets set up, ready to be published to PDF. Um, super simple and really quick. Um, so I hope you'll find this handy. Um, keep a look out for more tutorials coming soon. Um, you can always drop me an email or message me if there's something in particular you want me to cover. Um, you can email me at emma at firstinarchitecture.co.uk. Okay, I'll see you soon.